As the years go by, people have been living longer and healthier lives because of the massive growth and development of medical technologies over the past centuries. Medical conditions and phenomena are now found with far greater accuracy and systems to medicate them are much more potent. The global average human life expectancy currently stands at 72.6 years, but just 20 years back, that number was 65.4 years. That's here on Earth, but what if I told you that there's an exoplanet where you could live to over 3,000 years? To put things into perspective, if you were 3,000 years old on Earth, you'd have seen the Iron Age kick into effect, the very first use of iron or steel had advanced to the point where iron tools and weapons replaced their bronze equivalents in common use. You'd see the reign of King Saul in the United Kingdom of Israel. The Egyptians were as powerful as ever, although they didn't dabble too much in iron fittings. The world's population was a mere 50 million. You'd have seen history transform itself decade after decade with countless imperative historic events taking place during your lifetime. That would be quite a trip, but LP890-9's perspective is a little different, and when I mean little, it's… it's a whole lot. Scientists have recently discovered a duo of potentially habitable planets that's 100 light years away from Earth, where the average life expectancy would be around 3,158 years. Two fascinating planets were discovered orbiting the star TOI-4306 by an international team of scientists, led by astrophysicist Leticia Del Rez. Now, TOI-4306 is a red dwarf star that's about half as hot as our Sun and around 6.5 times smaller. Red dwarf stars are cooler than our Sun and easily the most abundant in our Milky Way galaxy, making up about 80% of the population as far as astronomers know. The first two planets discovered, called LP890-9b or Speculus 2 or TOI-4306, is about 30% bigger than the Earth and completes an orbit around its star in just 2.7 days. That there is the main caveat. As mentioned earlier, the current average life expectancy on Earth is 73.5 years. This would mean the average life expectancy on TOI-4306b, which has a much shorter year due to its very short orbit, would be 9,943. Way too many birthdays, if you ask me. This planet was initially identified by NASA's Transitioning Exoplanet Survey Satellite, or TESS. TESS is a space mission that is dedicated to the search of exoplanets in nearby orbiting stars, and these two newly discovered ones are just a couple of countless exoplanets discovered by TESS. The Speculus telescopes are also equipped with highly sensitive infrared cameras, so it becomes simpler for researchers to observe these types of stars with high precision. Although saying it's easy would be underplaying it by a long shot, it is still pretty darn difficult. Researchers were also able to detect another planet called LP890-9c or Speculus 2c. Both planets were found in the constellation Eridanus orbiting the same star, hence the title LP890-9C and LP890-9B. You might have already figured that. Out of the potentially habitable terrestrial planets currently known to astronomers, LP890-9C appears to be the second most favorable target according to scientists, and the weird bit is that it was found by accident. While scientists check their initial discovery of another exoplanet around the same star called LP890-9, or TOI-4306, or Speculus 2. Whew, that star has a little too many names. It's the second coolest star found to host planets after the famous TRAPPIST-1 star system, which hosts up to seven planets and has been dubbed Solar System 2.0. Published in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics, researchers detected that LP890-9b orbits its star in 2.7 days and is too hot to host liquid water. 
TESS, however, has its limitation in what it can detect, so observations require double-checking. It finds exoplanets by detecting a slight dimming of a star as a planet or its shadow transits across its surface. Dr. Leticia Del Reyes, FNRS postdoctoral researcher at the University of Liège, Belgium, and lead author of the study, reveals a follow-up with ground-based telescopes is often necessary to confirm that the detected candidates are actually planets and to then learn more about their properties. This follow-up is particularly important in the case of relatively cold stars such as TOI-4306, which emits most of their light in the near-infrared, and for which TESS has a rather limited sensitivity. Comparison between the LP890-9 system and the inner solar system The LP890-9 system is much more compact, which means that its two planets could easily fit inside the orbit of Mercury the innermost planet of our solar system, which is why they orbit their star in such a less time. But there still lies one big question. So, could LP890-9C actually be habitable? The answer to that is resoundingly unknown. It's a super-Earth for sure, but that entirely means it is like Earth. It's just a little larger. LP890-9C is probably rocky and about a third larger than Earth, but it takes just 8.5 days to orbit its star. Since it orbits a star much cooler than our Sun, that's confirmed. Francisco J. Pozuelos, researcher at the Institute of Astrophysics in Andalusia and one of the main co-authors of the paper, says, Although this planet orbits very close to its star at a distance about 10 times shorter than that of Mercury around our Sun, the amount of stellar irradiation it receives is still low and could allow the presence of liquid water on the planet's surface provided it has a sufficient atmosphere. This is because the star LP890-9 is about 6.5 times smaller than the Sun and has a surface temperature half that of our star. This explains why LP890-9C, despite being much closer to its star than the Earth is to the Sun, could still have conditions that are suitable for life. Before this super-Earth is declared even possibly Earth-like, there have to be a ton of other observations, specifically by the James Webb Space Telescope, which could help researchers examine its atmosphere or if it even has one. The study authors think this exoplanet could be ripe for a JWST atmosphere detection. The rays went on to reveal LP890-9C is located close to the inner boundary of the habitable zone and could therefore have an atmosphere that is particularly rich in water vapor, which would then boost its atmospheric signals. Though the habitable zone around a star where liquid water could theoretically exist, you know, between the too distant freeze zone and the too close deep fried zone, it doesn't really guarantee anything. Dr. Robert Wells from the University of Bern and the NCCR Planet S and co-author of the study said, Our neighbor planet Venus, which is, so to speak, a CO2-rich near 500 Celsius pressure cooker, is also near this so-called habitable zone around the Sun. So far, TESS has discovered about 5,000 planets and planet candidates. In total, TESS is expected to find about 12,519 exoplanets. And with that, it's safe to say we have options. The research team will study the planet with the JWST playing a key role in understanding more about the planet. LP890-9C, as mentioned before, appears to be the second most favorable target among the potentially habitable terrestrial planets currently known, surpassed only by the TRAPPIST-1 planets. The researchers conclude, saying, Models often differ as to the exact position of this inner boundary of the habitable zone depending on the characteristics of the star. 
The discovery of LP890-9C therefore offers a unique opportunity to better understand and constrain the habitability conditions around the smallest and coolest stars in our solar neighborhood. In irony to this discovery, I guess time will only tell, if we could live to be 3,158 years old. So, what do you think? Do you think we'll ever be able to walk on one of these exoplanets? What will the James Webb Telescope tell us about these exoplanets? Would you even want to be 3,000 years old? Let us know in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching Space Rumor.